In honor of the first ever National Cinema Day, movie theaters like Century Theater in Pleasant Hill were selling tickets for just $3 on Saturday. That brought out the crowds, but some were also trying to escape the heat. Going to the theaters is a way to get AC. Just trying to get out before it gets too hot so we could be in with the AC, I think. In Pleasanton, Meadowlark Dairy's soft serve ice cream was a huge hit in this heat. Kids get to run around a little bit, it's under the shade, so yeah, it's a nice way to cool off. Sabiha Rashid and her husband are celebrating their one year anniversary at Mirchi Cafe in Dublin. We're here really, we want to be with family and friends, so hopefully that will be nice and we have a nice breeze. Holiday weekends like Labor Day are critical for the restaurant industry, says Mirchi Cafe owner Lisa Ahmed. But the heat wave and the threat of blackouts has her concern. And if you lose that, it's a huge, huge chunk out of that bottom line. Mirchi Cafe's menu is described as American comfort classics with the Pakistani twist. She just celebrated 18 years in business this week. Many restaurants are facing a labor shortage. Inflation is pushing up costs and eating away at profits. All this at a time when restaurants are trying to rebound from the pandemic. If a blackout occurs, Emmett says the food that will be spoiled could total thousands of dollars in losses in just a matter of days. That's an investment, right, for the restaurateur because you take in raw product, you process it in your ingredients, and then you sell it. And if you lose that, like you're literally losing like 30 percent um, of, of your total cost of business that month. So far, the restaurant has been packed. Customers are staying cool. And like so many, Emmett just hopes the power stays on. In the East Bay, on Hassan, ABC 7 News. Three, two, one. I'm Ansar Hassan in Dublin. The threat of blackouts is creating problems for restaurants that have thousands of dollars of inventory that could go to waste.